Welcome to part 11 of the Farnsworth House case study and in this tutorial we're going to extrude the columns and also make the columns a little smaller and we're going to do that with blocks but first I'm going to move the floor slabs into its respective layers since I forgot to do that in the last tutorial. I'm also going to change the color of the floor slabs to white and I'm just going to turn the floor ends off the steel angles to be off and I'll leave the uh, windows layer on. So I'm going to my top view. And I want these columns to be an actually or actually I want the columns to be half inch smaller from both sides. So I'm gonna draw a guideline of half inch. And then to get rid of the block, I'm just gonna explode it. Either typing explode or clicking on the explode button. And then I'm gonna scale one direction or one dimension from the midpoint taking the, one of the endpoints and scaling it in to our guideline of half inch. And then I'm going to recreate this as a block. And as for the base point, so I'm going to take the same same as the original block in the center. I'm going to name the same thing, so it's wide flange or WF beam. And it says it already exists, do we want to replace it? We'll say yes. So now every beam should be replaced, and we'll just make sure. So before the white flange beam was extended out to here, but now it's only midpoint, so that's what we want. And then I'm going to turn back my steel angles, so you guys can see everything. Now we're going to extrude the, the columns. So I'll type in extrude curve, select the curves to extrude, so these columns. Go into my perspective view. I'm going to turn on my roof. So once I right click, it'll ask me where I want it to extrude to. We can pick anywhere. But by our image, it seems to be just below the, uh, the little cantilever from the roof. So I'm going to make it 11 and a half since up here it's. Um, And then I'm going to turn on my floor. So there's our there's our structural columns. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the Y flange beams. So extrude extrude curve. Select the remainder columns or Y flange. And I'm just going to scale it up. Now we can get really exact and if we have an inch below the uh, slab here we'll just draw a guideline say one inch and we'll select all the uh, all the slabs that are short and we can scale in one direction or undo that wasn't correct. So there we go. We have one inch below the slab and we can do the same with um, this one also. The main columns. So I'll draw a one inch line. Select all three of my columns or the taller ones. Type in scale, pick the one dimension. First of all, go in perspective so we can pick the correct points. So 
So now everything is scaled one inch below what we want. And I'll delete the guidelines. So that's how you create the structural Y flange columns and using the blocks. And thanks for watching.